warm up. Up next, arm circles backward for 30 seconds. Arm circles backwards. Your arms should be straight throughout the duration of this exercise. Stand with your feet slightly apart and you're going to make large circles. You also want to try and keep your ribs down. Up next, rest for 10 seconds. Up next, arm circles forwards for 30 seconds. Arm circles forwards. You're going to stand with your feet slightly apart and your arms need to be straight as you make large circles in a forward motion. You also want to try and keep your ribs down as you're doing this. Up next, rest for 10 seconds. Up next, Bondarenkos for 30 seconds. Bondarenkos. To begin, have your hands under your shoulders. With your fingers facing forward, you're going to use your body weight leaning over your wrists. Gradually increase your range and then you're going to perform a wrist circle after each rep. Up next, rest for 10 seconds. Up next, elbow circles for 30 seconds. Elbow circles. Standing with your feet slightly apart, you're now going to make circles at your elbows. Move in one direction and then swap and rotate in the opposite direction. Up next, rest for 10 seconds. Up next, hip circles for 30 seconds. Hip circles. To begin, stand with your feet shoulder width apart. You're then going to use your pelvis to draw an imaginary circle with your hips in one direction. You're then going to swap and go the opposite way. Up next, rest for 10 seconds. Up next, squat to pike for 30 seconds. Squat to pike. Stand with your feet together. You're then going to drop into a squat, keeping your heels down. You're then going to extend your legs, straighten them into a pike position. Make sure that your knees are locked out straight when you come up to the pike. Up next, rest for 10 seconds. Up next, wrist flexion for 30 seconds. Wrist flexion. Start with your hands underneath your shoulders. You're then going to place the back of your hands onto the ground. Fingers will be facing your knees. Using your body weight, you're going to gradually increase your range by applying pressure down into your wrists. Up next, rest for 60 seconds.
Workout number three. Up next, hollow body hold for 30 seconds. Hollow body hold. To begin, your arms are going to be straight and held overhead. Shoulders must be up and off the floor. Lower back will be pressed flat onto the ground, legs out straight and point those toes. Up next, rest for 10 seconds. Up next, arch body hold for 30 seconds. Arch body hold. Your arms need to be straight and held overhead. Your shoulders are going to be up and off the floor. There'll be an arch in your lower back your chest will be high, legs straight and toes will be pointed. Remember to get those quads up and off the floor. Up next, rest for 30 seconds. Up next, hollow body hold for 30 seconds. If you feel like you need to regress the movement, firstly, bring your hands by your side. You can also bend at your knees, but your lower back must remain flat on the ground the whole time. Up next, rest for 10 seconds. Up next, arch body hold for 30 seconds. If you need to regress the movement, bring your hands by your side, then you can bring them under your chin, but try and keep your chest up and off the ground for as long as you can. Up next, rest for 30 seconds. Up next, hollow body hold for 30 seconds. Up next, rest for 10 seconds. Up next, arch body hold for 30 seconds. Up next, rest for 60 seconds.
Up next, front support for 30 seconds. Front support. To get into this position, you want to have your hands directly underneath your shoulders. You're going to be pushing the floor away so your shoulders will be protracted. Tuck your pelvis and squeeze your glutes tight. You want to point your toes and engage your core. Up next, rest for 10 seconds. Up next, table rocks for 30 seconds. Table rocks. To begin, start with your hands by your hips. You're then going to press your hips up nice and high and your hands will be underneath your shoulders. Remember to retract the shoulders, glutes and core engaged. Throughout the exercise, your glutes need to stay up and off the floor. Up next, rest for 10 seconds. Up next, walk out, walk in for 45 seconds. Walk out, walk in. Starting in a pike position with your legs straight. Walk your hands out in front, all the way to a long hollow shape. You'll need to keep your core and glutes tight throughout the entire exercise. Up next, rest for 30 seconds. Up next, front support for 30 seconds. Up next, rest for 10 seconds. Up next, table rocks for 30 seconds. Up next, rest for 10 seconds. Up next, walk out, walk in for 45 seconds. Up next, rest for 30 seconds. Up next, 
front support for 30 seconds. Up next, rest for 10 seconds. Up next, table rocks for 30 seconds. Up next, rest for 10 seconds. Up next, walk out, walk in for 45 seconds. Up next, rest for 60 seconds. Up next, wall handstand for 30 seconds. Wall handstand. Walk your way up the wall so you end up in a position where your wrists are directly under your shoulders. Try and keep your ribs in by tucking your pelvis and engaging your core. The goal is to try to get as close to the wall as you can. Up next, rest for 10 seconds. Up next, straight body hang for 30 seconds. Straight body hang. When hanging from a bar, I like to use chalk on my hands. You're going to elevate the shoulders and try and keep your ribs in. Remember to tuck your pelvis, have your core engaged, point those toes and keep your feet together throughout the entire time. Up next, rest for 30 seconds. 
Up next, wall handstand for 30 seconds. Try and hide your ears with your shoulders. Keep your feet together and think about pushing the floor away throughout the entire exercise, forcing your shoulders to remain in an open position. Fingers should be spread so that you are trying to grip the floor with the weight in your palm and your fingers. Up next, rest for 10 seconds. Up next, straight body hang for 30 seconds. Up next, rest for 30 seconds. Up next, wall handstand for 30 seconds. Up next, rest for 10 seconds. Up next, straight body hang for 30 seconds. Up next, rest for 30 seconds. Up next, wall handstand for 30 seconds. Up next, rest for 10 seconds. Up next, straight body hang for 30 seconds.
Up next, cool down stretches. Cool down stretches. Up next, German stretch for 30 seconds. German stretch. To begin, extend your legs out straight with your feet together. You're now going to extend your arms out behind you, retract the shoulder blades. The goal is to get your hands as close together as you can throughout. The Up next, rest for 10 seconds. Up next, kneeling hip flexor for 30 seconds. Kneeling hip flexor. As you extend your first leg out straight, your foot should be out further in front of your knee. You want to keep your hips nice and square and press the back hip open. You're also going to try and think about pressing that hip flexor to the floor and don't forget to breathe and relax. Up next, rest for 10 seconds. Up next, T-stretch for 30 seconds. T-stretch. To begin, lie on your stomach. You're then going to extend one arm out to the side with your wrist in line with your shoulder. Rest your head then using your opposite arm, you're then going to roll back onto one side, stretching the chest. Make sure you do this to both sides. Up next, rest for 10 seconds. Up next, puppy for 30 seconds. Puppy stretch. To get into this position, your hips need to be above your knees. You're then going to extend your arms out in front, keep those elbows locked straight, and then press your armpits to the floor. During this exercise, you're going to breathe deeply and relax. <laughs> 